Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 10 build to look at, this is Redstone 5 build 17655 Windows inside is using the skip ahead option Not a lot to show you in this build but there are some changes and I'll uh, show you in the Windows blog The main one is a new mobile stack, a mobile broadband stack which means they're uh, changing the um, the driver based on the net adapter framework and um, you can try that out if you've got this build you have to install the driver manually uh, through devices so you can right click on here and go to device manager and then you can update the driver manually I can't show you this on my Surface Pro 3 because I don't have a mobile broadband uh, SIM uh, device on it so even if you've got a, like a USB version that doesn't work it's this is part of the operating system, so the new version of mobile broadband that is built into the operating system. It's a step forward for the way that mobile broadband works, and uh, I'd suggest you give it a try if you're Windows inside the skip ahead option and one of those devices. So another change to this build is the brightness toggle from the battery flyout in the notification area has been removed. So that's if you get a notification about battery going up here, the brightness option has been removed from that and they fixed an issue in Microsoft Edge where dragging a favourite from one folder to another in the folder bar uh, didn't work so that's you know dragging from one folder to another in here that's the only real changes, the rest are known issues uh, there's some issues over UI fields in text there's still the issue with movies and TVs not working with the, the library that's been going on for ages now from, right from Redstone 4 I think um, They've fixed some. Uh, there's still issues with page up and page down in web page scrolling, and um, if you complete the setup of a Windows Mixed Reality headset with this build, your headset will remain black until it's unplugged and then reconnected. There's also some known issues for sets and office. So sets is where I can open a new tab like this and open a program. Um, yeah, I think I've, you've, see, I've see, you've seen me demonstrate this on previous videos. So there's still issues with like the Visual Basic Editor and some of the user experience is not final yet let me fire up Word and I can show you what I mean so there's Word and I can open another tab and I can have Notepad in that or I can have a web browsing page or I can have whatever I want in there and it's still you see a little bit clunky uh, and a little bit slow So the UI isn't final on that, and Microsoft uh, uh, are working on that. And there's some other issues, like the Visual Basic Editor opens in a tab it's not supposed to, and the side-by-side sort of -side doesn't work. Um, so there's not a huge amount of changes with this build. The main ones are this new mobile broadband stack, and there's not a lot visually to see, but it does mean that the operating system uh, is kind of broadband, mobile broadband LTE built into it. At a lower level, um, so it's going to optimize the system and uh, give a lot of options for the future with, with mobile broadband. So, those are the changes for 17655 Redstone 5, still a long way to go with that, uh, but some new interesting stuff coming. Right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com, on YouTube, at iSticks, and on Twitter.